In this video, we'll look at microfocus resources around MITRE ATT&CK. First, we'll walk through using the microfocus MITRE ATT&CK navigator. Next, we'll walk through using the MITRE ATT&CK navigator. In the MITRE ATT&CK navigator, we'll look at the adversary behavior, tactics, and techniques that the threat group APT33 uses. Then we'll identify the default content and coverage that Microfocus provides for the techniques that APT33 uses. And finally, we'll go through a demonstration of some of the content that Microfocus provides around MITRE ATT&CK. This is the Microfocus MITRE ATT&CK Navigator, which you can access by going to mitre.microfocus.com. With the Navigator, you can view the MITRE ATT&CK techniques that are covered with ArcSight default content. When we click on any of the techniques, you'll see the Content and Information tabs. On the Content tab, we'll see a link to download the free content, which I'll show you in a moment. Let's look at the Information tab. In the Information tab, I can see details on this technique from the MITRE ATT&CK site. We can see that the Valid Accounts Technique ID is T1078, and we have a link that brings us to the MITRE ATT&CK site. On the MITRE site, we can see a wealth of information in the ATT&CK knowledge base. I can see a detailed description of the technique. I can see metadata about the technique, like the technique ID and the tactic or tactics that it falls under. I can see the platforms that this technique applies to, as well as the data sources that can be used to detect this technique. When I scroll down, I can see procedural examples of threat groups that have used this technique and how they've used it. I can see ways to mitigate this technique, as well as ways to detect this technique. And finally, we can see links to the public threat intelligence sources that MITRE used to build the knowledge base for this technique. Next, let's click on the Content tab. Here I can see a link to download the free content from the ArcSight Marketplace. The ArcSight Marketplace is a free community resource for our customers, partners, and microfocus to collaborate. The MITRE ATT&CK content is included in the latest releases of ArcSight. The content is also available for previous releases of ArcSight for free. Any updates to the content will be posted on the ArcSight Marketplace for customers and partners to download. Across the top of the site, I can see the solutions in the ArcSight portfolio. Real-time is ArcSight ESM our next-gen SIM platform. Machine Learning is ArcSight Interset, our unsupervised machine learning platform. Search and Hunt is ArcSight Recon and ArcSight Logger. Clicking on Layered Analytics will show you all of the MITRE ATT&CK techniques that are covered by the ArcSight portfolio. We also have a link to MITRE ATT&CK content from ArcSight's Technology Alliance partners. When you click on these links, the navigator will filter based on what's selected. In the upper right-hand part of the site, we can see an option to export the ArcSight and Partner Techniques to a JSON file. We'll use this JSON file next with the MITRE ATT&CK Navigator. You can get to the MITRE ATT&CK Navigator from the MITRE ATT&CK site. Let's walk through how we can use this site to see if ArcSight has content to address the techniques being used by the APT33 threat group. The navigator works in layers. First, we'll set up a layer showing the APT33 techniques. Next, we'll set up a layer showing all of the techniques covered by ArcSight content. And finally, we'll overlay those two layers on top of each other and see the coverage that ArcSight provides with default content. As a part of the attack knowledge base, MITRE has mapped the techniques used by threat groups and software. 
Here we can see a list of the threat groups and software, as well as links to information on the MITRE ATT&CK site. I'll select the threat group APT33, and the techniques will be outlined in the matrix. Next, I'll assign a score of 50 to the APT33 techniques, and this will change their color to yellow. I'll rename this first layer and sort it so I can see the threat group techniques being used on top. Now we'll add another tab and a second layer using the Open Existing Layer option. For this layer, we'll open the JSON file that we exported from the MicroFocus MITRE ATT&CK site. The navigator now shows us, in blue, all of the MITRE ATT&CK tactics and techniques that are covered by ArcSight default content. The final step is to overlay these two layers on top of each other. To do this, we'll add a third tab and select the Create Layer from Other Layers option. As you can see, there are a lot of options here. We simply need to use the first Score Expression option. Notice in the upper left that the first two tabs and layers we created have a yellow letter A and B next to them. To overlay those two layers, our score expression will simply be A plus B. So what is this final layer telling us? The techniques in green are techniques that APT33 use, as we saw in the first tab and layer. The green color shows that ArcSight has content and coverage of all of those techniques. The techniques in orange are techniques that the threat group APT33 don't use, but this is showing us additional techniques that ArcSight has content and coverage for. The process we went through focused on the adversary behavior and techniques used by a threat group, but we can follow the same process with malicious software that threat groups use. Let's look at some of the content and resources that MicroFocus ArcSight provides around MITRE ATT&CK. The MITRE ATT&CK Activities Dashboard shows you all of the MITRE ATT&CK activity that we've detected and seen in your environment. From the root or center of the dashboard and working outward, you can see the adversary tactics and then the techniques and sub-techniques under those tactics. We have a number of dashboards to help you visualize and investigate MITRE ATT&CK activity. The Overview Dashboard shows us the last MITRE ATT&CK events, as well as a breakdown of the MITRE events by tactic, techniques, and sub-techniques. The Targets Dashboard shows us the relationship between attackers and targets, as well as techniques and sub-techniques. In this dashboard, we can highlight the technique or subtechnique and see all of the affected hosts. We can also highlight either the targets or the attackers and understand their relationship. In this video, we looked at the microfocus resources around MITRE ATT&CK. We walked through using the microfocus MITRE ATT&CK navigators and showed how easy it is to identify ArcSight content and coverage of the tactics, techniques, and adversary behavior of threat groups like APT33.